Today we're gonna make a whole wheat sandwich bread. Super soft and tender and perfect for any sandwich or afternoon snack, just slathered with butter and maybe like a little cinnamon sugar. Yum. Let's get into it. So the first step here is blooming our yeast. We're gonna use dry active yeast. Um, and so we wanna bloom it. Um, and all that means is we're just going to hydrate it, let it kind of get excited and start to, start to come alive again uh, before we put in our dough. If you forget that step, no big deal, okay? I've got warm water here, and the reason I'm using warm water is not only for my yeast, because they don't need warm water, but it helps. Uh, but I'm also using warm water because my apartment is cold, and I wanna make sure that my dough rises at a nice even speed and not takes all day because we don't have all day. So I'm gonna pour this in. I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of it because it doesn't really matter. And then I'm just gonna give it a give it a whisk. We're just breaking up any clumps. We're not, you know, you're not trying to do anything in particular. We're just, just breaking up clumps. And that's it. Now we're gonna let that sit until the yeast is hydrated and it starts to bubble. Um, I mean, we're gonna wait 10 minutes. Okay, so our yeast have, um, are all happy in there. See if you can see that. Um, they've started to bubble. You can see um, kind of foaming on the surface. And now we're ready to add all the rest of our other ingredients. Super easy dough because everything goes in at one time. Um, so I've got AP flour here. If you only have bread flour, you can use that. This is whole wheat flour. In it goes. Um, and this is milk powder. Milk powder kind of adds that nice richness that you get from milk or dairy uh, without actually adding any more liquid. So uh, because milk and water don't totally do the same thing. Uh, in it goes. Um, and then this is salt. Uh, kosher salt makes a difference. Uh, and then this is, if you recall from puff pastry, this is a beurre en pommade. And so basically it's just really soft, pliable butter, and I've done that in a little packet of uh, plastic wrap uh, so as to easily kind of transfer it into my dough. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of pick it off, and in it goes, boop! Nicely softened, perfectly temped butter, and this is a little bit of heavy cream just to kind of round out some a little bit more fat um, and that like kind of dairy enrichment, if you will. Um, I'm going to mix it and incorporate it with a paddle attachment uh, because I feel in these stand mixers, uh, the home version, uh, it really kind of gets the dough more evenly uh, mixed. So I'm just going to turn that on low and I'm going to let that do its thing. I am going to wait until all of the flour is hydrated and then I will switch to the hook attachment. All right. So everything is mixed in here. I don't see any dry bits. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of get that off of my paddle. We're just gonna mix it on medium until um, kind of a smooth dough forms. Okay, so it's been mixing about five minutes um, and I'm just gonna test and see if it's done. So you can see visually on the outside that it is a little bit smoother. It's not as coarse. It has obviously come together. And I'm just going to do what's called the window pane test. I'm gonna gradually work my way out in a square, um, just trying to see if it will pull smooth. So obviously you can see it's allowing me to pull a window. And there's also, there's some strands, like you can see it's not completely smooth like you would want with a brioche dough or something because this is not a highly enriched dough. It's just partially enriched. All of that jibber jabber was saying it's done. <laughs> so, yay us, yay mixer, and we are ready to bulk proof our dough. This is just um, vegetable oil. I'm just gonna kind of put that around. You could also spray it with Pam, um, whatever you want to do. Um, you don't have to. You can just plop it in here. It doesn't have to be any sort of. You don't have to fold it under, make it look pretty. Nobody cares. Um, if I, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip my dough over, kind of oil that side, and then flip it back. Um, and then we're gonna plastic wrap this, and we're gonna proof it. Um, well, wherever is the warm spot in your place. Um, I actually have the proof setting going on my oven because my apartment, as aforementioned, is very cold. 
So I'm gonna pop this covered in my oven, which is set at 85 degrees, and just let it kind of gently proof. Um, we're gonna check her in about an hour, see what she's doing. Um, when she looks like she's doubled, um, and then I'll show you kind of what to feel for also when you're testing your dough. So now she's plastic wrapped, and in she goes. So our dough is beautiful and doubled and happy and proofed. Lots of positive adjectives there. So obviously you can see visually that she's risen. Um, it's been about two hours since I mixed it and put it in there to proof. So get yourself a little, little flour in your hands. You can also use oil. Um, and just kind of get in there and just like give it a little kind of, a little feel, right? So we're just kind of pulling it gently to kind of see what she's doing. Um, and every single dough is different, so every hydration is going to feel different. Um, the whole grain is going to feel different. So anyways, she feels great. So I am just going to kind of let that come out. Um, there she is. And we're going to divide this. So this makes two um, eight or nine inch loaf pans. Um, and you can just eyeball it, you know, kind of square it up and figure out where, or you can weigh it, um, which we're going to do because I can't help myself. Um, it's gonna be about 500 grams. And next we're going to pre-shape. So we're gonna pre-shape into a round. Um, and all that means is we're just going to kind of pull all the sides in, right? This dough is not terribly sticky, um, which is another reason I don't wanna have a bunch of extra bench flour because then it's just not gonna shape. And then you're gonna flip it over and then you're gonna pull it, okay? So I'm pulling the dough underneath itself um, to, to tighten it into a ball, okay? So this is called Boule. It sits up, it's proud, it's happy to be here. We're happy to have it. Um, but you can also see that the top is smooth. Um, if it does start to crack, then you, you know that you've tightened it too much um, and you should let it relax. Um, all right, cover it up. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And we're gonna let it sit here and bench rest for 15 minutes. Bench rest is just a fancy term for chilling on your bench. So our bench rest for our little guys is almost done. So we are going to prepare our pans. And all that we're going to do with that is we're going to spray it with cook spray. You could use butter, you can use oil, whatever you have, that's what you should use. Um, but this is just quite frankly the easiest. Um, just give it a good, give it a good spray. Our dough has finished bench resting, um, and all the whole point of that is just to let it relax, the gluten relax a little bit so that we can get it to its final shape. Um, we are gonna do what's called a batard, or a log shape, to get it into this, this pan here. Um, and the key to that is you wanna make sure that it is even, um, and it doesn't taper. We don't want like a tapered batard, we want like a, a log. Um, so we're going to flip it over. Um, and then I like to give it a, give it a little stretch here and then kind of fold a third in, press it, uh, and then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so you've got like an envelope fold situation going on, right? And now we are going to um, do what's called a thumb fold. So I like to grab it, kind of like a cat with a scruff of the neck, and then you flip it over third of the way in, okay? And give it a nice press with your fingers. And then we're gonna do a thumb fold. So we're gonna, I'm gonna roll with my thumb like this, um, I'll try and do it so that you can see it. And then I will seal it with the heel of my hand, okay? So I am rolling it in to itself and I am sealing. Um, and we do wanna make sure we are evenly folding it, right, okay? This dough is not very sticky, so it does not actually love this situation. Um, but here it is. All right, so it sits tall up on itself um, and it has a nice shape. Um, and the bottom is sealed. If you find that the bottom is not sealing, then you can just give it a, an extra little pinch there. Boop. And then we will place it in our pan. You see how that fits so nicely in there? Look at that. And then I am gonna cover these with plastic wrap, and then I'm gonna pop them back in my proof box uh, or my warm spot, and I'm going to let them completely rise, and they're going to kind of, you know, they're gonna dome above. I'm gonna check in an hour. You will do. So, I have about 10 minutes ago, I stopped, I took these out of my proof box slash oven, 
and I turned up my oven to 350 degrees while these continued to proof on the counter. Um, my room is pretty cold, so if your room's not that cold, if it's warm, you'd want to start preheating your oven earlier. Um, but right around the time when it starts to kind of crust the top of the of the mold, that's that's a good time to start preheating your oven. So I'm just going to gently take off my plastic wrap so I don't deflate my bread because it is, you know, very light and fluffy. These are gonna be good, guys. All right, so I'm actually going to um, place them on a baking sheet just to make it easier to take them in and out of the oven. Um, and we're ready to bake. So I'm gonna pop these in. You could egg wash them if you want, um, if you want like a glossy top, um, but like no nonsense up in here today. I'm just gonna pop them in. Um, and then I'm gonna check them in probably about 20, 25 minutes. Um, and we'll go from there. My place smells amazing right now and I'm so excited. So it's been, um, I set my first timer for 20 minutes and rotated it to make sure that it got nice and golden brown all the way around. Um, and my timer for the, an additional 10 is just about to go off. <sighs> yes. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop, this is an instant read thermometer, I'm gonna pop it in the side to hit, try and hit the center. Um, because you want, this is a slightly enriched bread, so you want it to hit about 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and it is well above that, so it's fine. Um, so it's fully baked, it's nice and golden brown, it's about shy of 30 minutes, so this is perfect. Look at that. So we'll just let it cool like this and we're gonna be patient. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> I have totally. It's time to cut. Oh man, I am super excited about this. Yes, cut super easily. What? Yes. I'm gonna eat this right now. Wish I had butter on the red. Mm. Yum. Mm. And soft and chewy and tender and like just the right amount of whole wheat, you know? All the sandwiches come to me. 